Hey, what's up everyone? Epithemy here and for today's video, it's going to be very different and I'm just going to give you two very quick tips to help you out when getting better with the M4A4 or the M4A1S. Now, if you all enjoyed today's video, I'm setting a like goal of 30 likes and if we hit that 30 like goal, maybe I'll give away an M4A4 skin or M4A1S skin. You know, that may be called bribery, but you still got to hit that like button to find out what you're gonna get so if you have any other video suggestions then also be sure to leave them down in the comment section below but let's get into these tips so the first one is to pay attention to your crosshair placement and your movement you really have to pay attention to both of these simultaneously because it takes two shots to the head to kill someone with armor with the m4a4 rather than the ak's one bullet but having good crosshair placement and movement will actually help you win more gunfights and sometimes you can get the jump on the other person you can practice this many different ways but all too often people actually pay attention to their sick new skin that they just bought off the marketplace or maybe it was the one that I gave you um, then their actual crosshair so that's very very frustrating so you really need to pay attention to your crosshair and your crosshair placement changing your view model can actually help with this sometimes people like to put it more off to the right some people like to put it more in the middle but it just depends on your style and with that the view model can actually help tremendously it might be something small but it really does help and now as for like peaking angles properly it only really comes with time and practice but also knowing the right way so i'll show you on screen now for a quick explanation though you really need to lock your crosshair to the corners and clear all possible angles rather than just snapping to the corners but as i said dragging across all options helps tremendously and because if someone's in some off angle you can still catch them maybe you might catch them off guard but now I'll show you in real time as if you're just running right up cat. So there's a huge difference. But the next tip to learn is the recoil while tap shotting, bursting, and spraying. Now a lot of you may be like, you got to be kidding me. This is actually your second tip. Yes, it is. Not a lot of people know spray patterns or they think they know them, but they really don't. And they still struggle with them. So the M4A4 spray in particular is very similar to the AK-47. It'll be on screen now. And then the M4A1S is also on screen now, but it's not as long. It can be kind of similar, but not as long. But with that, either M4 can be just as deadly as the AK-47, and it is viable at different ranges. Of course, it's a rifle, okay? So you really need to feel it out. You have to hop into a deathmatch server and... Focus on not spraying first. A lot of people, that's their go-to to just spray. Focus on tap shotting or trying to burst your enemy down. And then from there, it'll just come natural to you at certain ranges where you will do either one or where you feel comfortable. And then after this, you won't even have to think about like, oh, he's at, you know, this guy's at this range, so I need to tap shot him. That won't, that won't ever cross your mind. It'll just happen. And it'll come as really just second nature. So... One other way that can really help you out is checking out a bunch of the community-made maps in the Steam Workshop for CSGO, like Mr. Elytical's Recoil Master Map or, you know, his Aimbots Map. There's so many other maps that can definitely help you out with that, so definitely be sure to check out some Workshop Maps to help you out as well. But these two tips are the main fundamental things you need to focus on while trying to get better with either M4 that you do decide. But if you all enjoyed today's video, then be sure to hit that like button, share the video of course, and subscribe if you guys want to check out or see some of my upcoming content. But my name is Epithemy, and I'll catch you all next time.